Hello and welcome back to my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar playthrough. We are right here by Trinzik where we left off last time. We are going to uh, head toward Paws, which is just a bit north of here. Uh, if there's stuff to kill along the way, we will. And my my, I, I'm hoping maybe to accomplish two goals uh, here in this episode, but we'll see how that goes. And number one is to be ready to... Um, Boy, to be ready to uh, level up honesty. Uh, rogues. One rogue. We got to wait for him to get into position a little bit. This should be easy. Well, ish. Well, it doesn't help when everybody misses. Lightly wounded, now he's fleeing. Come on, we need to fist this guy before he takes our gold. Of course, we don't have a lot of gold right now, so. I oh no, you're just killing me. All right, he ran, he's running away without taking any gold. Beautiful. What, how much did he have? Yeah, so I'm hoping maybe by the time we're done with pause and, and all that, maybe we will be in a position to... Uh, I, was gonna, I, I want to try something. I want to try to cast, when we see somebody like that, cast a spell at them um, without being a combat and see if that's feasible. See if, uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. See if that works. Uh, I'm going to line up with these guys, I think. Heavily wounded already. Beautiful. Barely wounded. Missed. I mean, I think I'm gonna invest the 600 gold. We're gonna make our way toward Vesper and get a crossbow. So I'm gonna make that investment in Iolo and hopefully we will see a, a good return in greater accuracy. I'm just gonna move him up. Alright. I guess maybe we'll start on the line here. Ah, now he's fleeing. Good luck with that. Because you can only go one direction. Alright, beautiful. Dead. There he's got the guy in the back. It is interesting the different formations you get into depending upon whether you're looking at range versus melee. Because melee, you're you're trying to basically get somebody on a free side, whereas with range, we're lining up. <laughs> we're just lining up. All right, heavily wounded. Now he's fleeing. Good. Come on, Dupree. Beautiful. 24 gold. All right, so trying to remember. I think pause is up here. Yeah, there's pause. I know there's orcs there. We'll take care of them in a bit. All right, so the main reason I want to stop by pause here. Do I have. Do I have. Uh, yes. 25 for 30. Do I have that on my notes? I do not recall. Let's go take a peek, shall we? So, that's Miskinfo, food prices, pause. I do. Okay, it's in the middle of the pricing scale. All right, well, good to know. Good to know. I'm not going to buy anything today. So... All right, so we've got somebody armor. Let's just see what they got for armor. I'm here to buy cloth leather. Okay, we don't need any more leather. I think everybody's got leather now, except me, maybe. And I'm going to get uh, mystic armor. So, 
I'm not certain as a mage I can wear leather. Maybe I can. Tavern. This is the horse person. There was a talking horse. I thought I could buy reagents here. Am I like missing, am I like missing reagents? Right, pause. That's what I thought I remembered. All right, so I gotta find the reagent place. That's market. This is going to be to buy horses. And I don't wanna buy a horse. That's the market. That's armor. What's this? There we go, magic. Somebody was was taking me to task for not seeing uh, secret doors. And so, I, I, you know, I did say I, I try to look for them nowadays. Yes, I am. Okay, so I am going to... Um, I'm going to do a little grinding here. Uh, we don't have a ton of gold, but I also don't need a ton of reagents. So, but I'm going to uh, go by the the uh, piece of information that I got from a viewer that says I can just keep, um, just do single, that was from Brian Miller, just, you know, buy a, a reagent, pay full price, get out of the conversation, get back into it. So I'm going to do a little grindy grindy here on the on the reagent side. And um, I'm just going to kind of zip through it for you guys because this can be very repetitive. And then uh, I'll be back when uh, I think I'm done. Okay, and there we go. So um, if I go to my stats, I got most of my things up to uh, 25. Uh, I was starting to work on spider silk, but it is super expensive here. Uh, I'm not sure what it is at Scar Bray, but it's nine gold here. It's only three at Moonglow, according to my notes. So yeah, I decided that rather than spending you know, top, top dollar, uh, it made sense to just, um, not get that. But I did, I did, uh, I don't know, probably close to, probably close to 20 separate transactions for the most part. And, um, all right, let's get these cause now we need gold. <laughs> We're down to 61. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, come and get us. We're here fat and sassy. He's fleeing already. I don't think he's going to get anywhere. There we go. I didn't want to do that. All right, come on, Mr. Edden. We're just going to sit here and wait for you. Maybe. You know what? Maybe I'll send... Well, this is kind of problematic. I was thinking about sending Iolo around because it kind of like he was coming going to come down between the rocks and the shrubberies there, but now I'm not so certain. And, and given Iolo's accuracy, I forgot to move Iolo there. We may all have to move to get this guy. He seems to be uh, very happy where he's at shooting in some direction that is not getting him anything that would be remotely classified as a hit. All right, so now he seems to be, now that we're a little closer, he seems to be having more interest. Let's see if he'll we'll get in line for our, there we go. Lightly wounded. Heavily wounded, fleeing, and gone. Acid trap. 
All right, good. Well, that gets us up to 88 gold. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head up toward um, Lord British's castle. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. Just wandering the woods, looking for somebody easy to do a little cut purse stuff. And you come upon us, you poor sot. I almost feel sorry for you. I don't. Oh, he's fleeing already. Wow, that didn't take long. Beautiful. 62 gold, so we're up to 150. Very good. Uh, all right. Oh, combat only. Okay, so I can't do that out here in the world. Oh. All right. Once again, I don't know that it makes a darn lick of difference, but it can't hurt. Can't hurt. We have a bevy of mages, huh? We're doing a lot of missing. I'm not, I'm not cool with missing. You'd think that we've get so much practice that... Uh, that mage is critical. Heavily wounded. That mage is critical. We don't seem to be able to hit the demon much. A lot of critical mages. Uh, he's barely wounded. All right, one gone, two gone. Oh, now he's heavily damaged, the, the demon. Now, why would you do that? Stand in front of the demon. Is he like you're familiar or something? I don't get it. He's heavily, I don't think you'd be standing in front of the demon for long. You get closer. That'll only help our accuracy. I wonder if there is a mechanic in this game for your accuracy improves as you get closer. I'm not certain that's the case because, you know, we've missed from pretty close distances. All right, Dupree, I'm gonna move you over there. Come on, guys. Hit something. Oh, now he's coming this way. Apparently he wanted to take me on. Me and my ranged pals. Well, Dupree, you got a nice line of sight. You promptly failed at Oh, the demon's critical. That mage is fleeing. That demon's fleeing. Come on, these guys are critical. Hit them. Stop trying to hit them and hit them. There we go. Demon is out of commission. Heavily wounded. Heavily wounded. Eh. I'm gonna move over so that we can get Katrina over. There we go. There, now we can just... I think this mode of battle is gonna be really good for us with the gremlins in the dungeon that steal our, you know, that steal, those guys that steal, stole our food. 74 gold, very nice. Very nice. And we have two little orkies. Isn't that cute? The one at the top would be smart just to like flee. I didn't need to move Iolo. I need to. Have him attack. Not that it would have made a snowball's spit worth of difference. Given that every third shot is a miss. Where are you going? <laughs> I didn't know that guy was fleeing. Maybe he's fleeing, I don't know. Uh, Dupree, come on. All right, that one's 
Grauen. Heavily wounded. Come on, Katrina. Ah, oh, fleeing. Good. Good job. 59 gold. We're up to 283. Perfect. So we're going to go up to Lord Bristol's castle. I don't think I finished that thought. Talk to Hawkwind. See how we're doing on our honesty score. And uh, maybe what we will elevate today. Otherwise, we're going to go head over to toward Vesperland. And uh, let's get a little more gold. Why not? Might have to do a little grinding in that area to get up some gold so that we can... I don't think there's anybody lined up with you. So that we can uh, get that crossbow. We might need to buy some food, too. Or we might need to moon gate to... Um, I'd have to look and see. Is it Scar Brave that's got the cheapest food? We'll have to see. But we might need to... We're down to 250. Usually we start getting into the 200s. That's when I'm like, eh, we need to buy some more food. Because, man, seven mouths goes, food, goes through food like nobody's business. That guy's fleeing. All right. I'm just going to let these guys come to us. Maybe. All right. There we go. We got one. That, guy, that one guy's going to flee. That's okay. I mean, let him flee. I guess. Technically speaking, we probably shouldn't be because they're evil creatures. Shot across the bow. Made him flinch. All right. Maybe we'll start heading up a bit. Oh, two of them fled. Oh, dear. How did that happen? Yeah, this guy is... He's already fleeing. That was quick. 31 gold. All right, so we're already at 314 gold. There's our ship. That's part another reason why I wanted to come here, because I knew that the easiest way to get to Vesper is by ship. And I think, if I remember correctly, we'll have to look at the map. If I'm ready for elevation and honesty, I believe that's on an island. All right, Mr. Hawkwind. Uh, let's take a quick peek at the notes. I want to just make sure I'm remembering correctly. It is honesty. It is honesty. So that's good news that we need. Honesty. Boom. We are ready for elevation. Beautiful. Elevation, so we're to five. All right. Full avatar hood, baby. It's in our grasp. It's in our grasp. Well, almost. We got to go do the thing. Let's go do the thing. Um, actually, let's go back to the notes. And let's look at food. Food, 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 food. Where's that at? That's in my misconfo. Yeah, it's Scarabray. It's Scarabray. So navigation from Lord British. Oh, that's right. I got to go like to to you and then from you. No. I could go to Minoc. I can go to Minoc and get there to Scarabray. I can go. Yeah, that's my only my only route from here. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that and just spend a little bit of our gold and get um, get us up some more food. And then we'll come back, get our ship, go over to Vesper, do a little killing, killing around that area. Um, oh, no, no. We're going to go elevate ourselves. We'll get some food and then we'll elevate ourselves. And that's probably going to be at least getting the food will be enough for this episode. So we'll see. All right. Um uh, None. I, we'll have to come back after we get all eight of them. I don't know if he's got... It'll be interesting to see if he's got any special special greeting for us. Let's go up to see uh, Lord British and get healed. 
I don't think anybody is ready for leveling up, but who knows? I haven't really looked at that in a little bit. Uh, heal. Nope. So everybody's full up on health. All right. Beautiful. And as I thought, nobody nobody leveled, but that's okay. So let us go and apply the moon gates. So the moon gate is, I can never remember exactly where it's at. It's somewhere in this vicinity. And let's take a quick peek at the notes again for navigation. So navigation, we want to go to Minoc, which is the second one. And then once we're at Minoc, the third one is Scarabray. So second and then third. All right, so we're going to wait here until, oh, there we go. Ah. Okay, I screwed up. I didn't wait for the moon to shift and we went to you. Yeah, so now we got to go from you. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to go back to Lord British. We're going to have to go back to Lord British and then, um, and then, you know, do the whole thing. So I will be back once all that is done and we are at Scarbray. Okay, so here we are at Scarbray. And let's go get some food. That's the healer. Food for thought. Yes, you may. 20 packs. So only 20 gold pieces. So if I say five, that will be 100. 100 gold pieces, that'll be 125, which will get us about 360 or 359. So let's do five. 359. Only takes us down to 200 gold. Perfect. All right. So now let's take a quick peek at our notes to get back to Lord British area. Uh, and actually, before we do that, let's look at the map and make sure that we understand where, yeah, the Shrine of Honesty is over there by Dagger Isle um, on a little island. That's what I thought I recalled. So we're definitely going to want to take our ship that's over by Lord British. So let's see what's the best way to get there. So we are in Scarbray. We can go to you. Yeah, use where we're gonna want to go. That's the second. That's the second uh, destination from here. So we will go outside and we will wait for the moon gate, and then we will go to you, and then to back to Lord British. Okay, we have made it back down here by Lord British. So let's get in our ship, and we will. Oh, there's an extra ship. <laughs> there's not an extra oh no that's also an extra ship right yeah because it's not firing on me it's not moving i said i should probably at some point maybe maybe off offline come over here and move that one over a little bit just so i don't think it's a all right so let's let's uh we are at g and i and if we take a quick peek at the notes and go to map coordinates. The Shrine of... Oh, I don't have it here. I thought I had it. All right, well, then back to the map. So the Shrine of Honesty is around uh, E and N. E and N, and we are at G and I. So we need to go north and east. So E and N is what we're looking for. Let's locate F and K. It's still F and K. We're almost out of the Fs. E and N, I think I said, right? We're almost there. 
E M E N. So we got a lot of stuff. Let's go back to the notes and just fine tune our destination. Oh, that's right. We didn't have we didn't have it on the notes. We didn't have it on the notes. Okay, so we got to look around these islands and find it. I seem to remember it was like on one of these little islands. This might be Verity Isle. I think it might be north of here. I, you know, I vaguely remember where it was. Oh, no. Okay, no, this is... I gotta come down here. Oh, darn you. Come on. Alright, stop that. Alright, stop. I was, I, was, I was into keyboard. I was hitting it too fast and the slow progress was messing me up. All right, come down here. Oh. Oops. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. All right, so we're going to end up back at Lord British's. I think this is, what, the second time I've died in the course of this? Gizmo. Return from the land of the dead. And some of thy possessions. All right, so oh, we got all that food we just bought. All that food. Damn it. All right. Let's see. I mean, we don't we don't lose the stuff that's equipped. What I'm curious about, we lost all our extra weapons. So I should have sold those. All that stuff stays. That stuff stays. Didn't lose any reagents. Not that I expected to. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. That was not in the plans for today. All right, so <laughs> we're going to have to do that again. Gosh darn it. We're going to have to do all of that again. Oh, gosh. Uh, but you know what? I think I think maybe we will save that for next time. So uh, we are we're at over 30 minutes, and I think uh, maybe that's, that, that's good enough to uh, save for next time. So... Uh, I will let that be that. I will be back soon with another episode for you, and I hope you come back for it. And until then, be seeing you. <laughs>